Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I have here another box to open, a Victorinox knife to do it, and inside, yes, I guess you already guessed, Kaveco pens. So, let me open these and I'll be right back. Okay, these uh, four boxes, I have to say this is a, a, some pens that I got from Korea and I got them from Korea because I made an exchange of a pen, I had a Kaveco Sper Kaveco pen, and so we arranged an exchange and I got these amazing pens. So I'm really excited. Let me put here a little tray with some pens for comparison and I'll show you what I got here. So let's start somewhere. Let's start with this one. Uh, okay, I know what this is. So this one comes with the, the nice pouch that I really like, this Kavec Sport pouch. Let me take this away just to and so we have two pens, one ballpoint pen in this transparent yellow color and a fountain pen also with the same transparent color. Focus. There you can see the older style of nib with some older style of feed. So maybe you think you have seen this before and kind of. I have here these also. They are all the same color. This is the Caveco Ice Sport. This is a, a line that no longer exists. The, it used to have the, a, a transparent colored cap, transparent colored section with the same color as the cap and then a clear transparent barrel. And this one has a different kind of feed, but the same kind of nib. This was a regular production. And I have this Kavec Sport for Microsoft, which is very hard to find. And this one had all the same color, orange on the barrel, orange on the section, orange on the cap, the same style of nib and this style of feed. So you can see both these pens are actually the same pen. But when you look at the caps, you see one cap is branded Microsoft and the other one is just branded Kavec Sport. So this is kind of a regular edition of that one, but I don't have any records of this being like a regular edition. So I would like to know how these came out. I know this one is a special edition and it is really hard to find. This is really hard to find too. And I have also here the ice sport. So very interesting to have four pens, oh, sorry, three pens of the same kind. This one is a ballpoint pen. I also have the ballpoint pen of the Microsoft uh, edition. So first, first one is nice addition to the collection. I think all are now we'll go to the next one and let's go through this order. This has a, a normal glass with a case or sleeve and inside we have two pens and cartridge, a box of cartridge and an extra cartridge. And let me show you because this is nice. I'm really into some co-branding pens and one is a green for a green Kavec Sport for Nomos Glass Hutter and it is nice because this is a, a with, I would call it a Skyline Sport because this one have the new sorry out of frame the new kind of nib and feed but this one is I think it doesn't have a cartridge inside. Maybe it's that cartridge that was there. It doesn't matter. So this was a co-branding of blue. But the regular edition for Caveco is this Caveco Classic 
this green. I'm not sure if I said blue. Okay, this is the regular edition, which is the Caveco Classic Sport, which means Classic Sport it has gold trim and gold plated steel nib. And so this is the regular one. I think the greens are the same. And finally, I also have here another co-branding, which is this Caveco for a store in the, in Germany, which is called Heldbergs. But this is really quite the same classic sport because it even has the Caveco Sport engraving, just also the co-branding of Heldbergs. So now I have the third one and I thought it would be a classic sport, but no, it's a Skyline Sport, which means it is chrome. So another Nomos glass hooter 10 and we'll go to now this nomos glass hooter <laughs> i would say sorry about that but i would say this kind of ugly these orange letters all in all facets but i was looking for this pen for some time it is a classic sport black this one has an older style of feed And it has Nomos Glass Uta in alternate facets, but every facet is imprinted. I just wanted to show you some other black pens. This is a classic sport, so it means it has gold trim. But I have two other Skyline sports. One is this Nomos Glass Uta. This is different because it has only in two adjacent facets in opposite sides. So only four of the eight facets are engraved and the letter is smaller and i also have another glomos nomos sorry nomos glass hooter pen that has the same kind of engraving and it was sent to me also by nomos let me just try to put this all in the same orientation you can see this one has a smaller letter larger and even larger white lettering, orange lettering, all facets are imprinted, only two of, only four of eight facets are imprinted in these ones. These two are Skyline Sport, this one is a classic sport. So, also nice additions to the collection. Okay, only two more boxes to go. Now, this one has Oris. Oris is a watch brand as this one as um, nomos is a is a watch brand so let me take this out and what we have here is a caveco al sport raw that's the one that gets scratches it's kind of a shiny thing and this one says made in taiwan and it's interesting because the made in taiwan is completely out of alignment with everything else it's kind of ugly there because it's slanted and it's not aligned with swiss watches and it says ori so ori is switch watch brand this is a german watch brand it is a as i told you al sport and it has the medium nib with regular nib and regular feed and it is a quite nice pen this al sport raw which means it gets scratched e, scratched very easily now i can just compare it with if you want to see how how scratched it gets you have here an al sport raw that is was quite used by me so it it gets very very scratched because it's very soft so this one has oris Switch watch is made in Taiwan. This one has Caveco AL Sport Germany. And I also have a third AL Sport Raw. I don't want to rub them much again against each other so I can avoid some more scratches. I have also a Nomos Glass Hooter, which is nice. You can see this one says Nomos Glass Hooter and no more engravings, only into adjacent facets. And you can see, so it's quite nice, these three variations of the same pen. But they are really uh, 
collaborations because these ones don't have Kavec support engraving, engraved on the cap. The Oris or Nomos Glasuta is not um, just an added imprint, it's really the only imprint. Now, we have here the Caveco AL Sport Raw, the regular edition, has the Caveco logo. This Oris has the Caveco logo, but the Nomos Glass Huta has... I'm not sure if I can show... It has Nomos logo on top, so it's an interesting difference that I have here in my collection. So, this is another pen to join this whole collection. And now, let's go for the last box that comes closed. And let me just show you what we have here. We have this Caveco Dialim Museum uh, collaboration. Daily Museum, is a museum, as I could understand, is a museum in um, Korea and they have this special pen. So, information, sticker, this nice card, uh, clip, cartridges, okay, lots of stuff. And here we have the pen. So, I was curious about which color was this pen. It says there Dialim Museum, D Museum, and Kavec Sport on the other side. So this is one kind of uh, special edition of a verse of a collaboration, like these Heldbergs that has the Heldbergs in one side and in the other side has the Kavec Sport logo. So not as exclusive as the others that I showed you, but this is a color that is really hard to find, which is the this is an extra fine nib. Um, this is a classic sport, and this color is called. Sorry, I have sometimes I need to, to, to check some colors because I get confused. There are there are so many. Um, this is the the cream or cream edition, and I already had one. It was kind of a special edition, and. So these are exactly the same color, but one has the Dialim Museum and the other one doesn't. And I was wondering when I saw these, if this was the color of it, because when we see pictures, we are not sure around these kind of creme, beige, brownish colors, we never know. I brought here to the table the Nomos Glass Huta. This is a Skyline Sport um, Macchiato. And I also brought to the table the Caveco Skyline Sport Cappuccino. This is, a, this is a Skyline Sport, this is a classic sport, sorry, it says gold trim. So, there it is, it's not a Macchiato, it is a classic uh, sport creme or cream. This is the Daily Museum, the regular Caveco Sport, and the Cappuccino. So, five very nice additions to my ever-growing collection. And I'm still missing some. I need to maybe someday make a video telling you which pens that I'm still looking for. Maybe you can help me to find them. But I'm quite happy because in just one package I got five pens that I was missing yet. So, thank you so much for watching this video. And this is not the pen, it's this one. Uh, so, the Oris. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this is useful if you are a cafe collector and if this is useful for your quest in having the most complete Cavex Cave Sport collection ever. And so, this is all. If you like, please like, subscribe, comment, share, do all that stuff. And I'll be here someday soon for some more videos. So, see you next time. Bye!